not you. Will we hear from you? Well, maybe next year. Well, anything I can do to help, you know me. Thank you, Donald. You're welcome. You take care of yourself. Here. Right. Here it is. This is a huge burden that I'm passing on to you and your descendants. You must take the utmost care to protect my research. That is why you must take it away to a safe location. Greatest of luck to you, Andrew. Your friend forever, Wilton.
Harry, we are ready to leave port. Charlie is in the pilot seat. time you'll see this for a while. Well, actually, I put my name back in the hat for the next two runs. CO. Phobos? Yeah, and Mars. What's brought that on? Abby was retiring, so uh, I can get straight back into the crew pool. You should take a break. It's not healthy doing all these rotations. I want to make full pilot rate by next May. What about you? I'll be at home. Earth. It's quiet. I like it. No, I like it up here now. Crewing. Ah, oh, 18 months tomorrow. You know the day. Wow. You enduring the war? Just at the end. Hmm. How old are you? 22. Yeah, I was about your age. Would you have, um, you know, if you had to? No, I don't think so. I'm surprised we didn't blow ourselves up. <coughs> uh, crossing DO, Mark. Check the plot and finish it for me. Checking plot. Course confirmed. Deactivated.
Don't know why you want to run those deep space missions. Do you ever think you should be doing something more important? Don't you think this is important? It's okay to want more, I guess. They need people like you. It's just... You want the more exciting gigs, right? The belt. The outer moons. It's not that I think it's below me. It's fine. No offense. It probably is below you. I trained to be a biologist. And I started running shuttles that took over. Hang on, so you never even wanted to run your own ship? No, not at all. With you, Rupert, and Merrill. I want to get this last trip over with and then my contract is done. Are you ready for retirement then? Absolutely. What is my purpose, Rupert? Yeah, you help me run this ship. You help us do our jobs. Am I just a machine to you? Kind of. More of a colleague. I have other uses. You did. My purpose is uncertain. We ship cargo now. Can I tell you about my life? Sure. I'm surprised you remember. I remember before this ship. What about Rupert? He's staying. I think he gets on with Meryl. How did he get on the ship in the first place? He was a loader. We left with him still on board. <laughs> it was five weeks until we reached somewhere to drop him off. When we did, he decided to stay. All right. He's keeping his head down. I think he's useful. He hasn't killed us yet, has he? He left the reactor shield off last month. Nearly exposed us both and killed Meryl. I didn't know about that. Hmm. Probably best. So what do you want for this? I don't think you can ask me that. Come on, I used to be your wreck. Well, yeah, but... Come on. 34. A year? No, for the trip. What? What? Ah, oh, shit, what did I do? Lights are still on. I'll get Rupert. No, 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 no. It's probably just the bridge relays. I'll sort it out. What about that? No, try the back. Idiot! <laughs> oh, now if I had a choice, you would be straight off this ship. Rupert, the radio's still down. Yeah, yeah. I'll look at it. All these breakdowns are worrying me, man. I think we should just Rupert, just get back to work, yeah? Just make sure this dustbin gets us home without killing us. I have a life to get back to. I don't take orders from you, you little <laughs> shit. Then why don't you disappear down that little shithole you scratch around in all day and look for something to fix? For what? Okay. Why don't you come down, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll throw you out the fucking airlock. Rupert, can you get this radio sorted out now? I'll look at it next. Uh, just do what you got to do. I'll be down the back. Where are you going? 
fuck off. My watch is over. my primary mission. Paula's death was unfortunate. 
It is regrettable when a crew member is killed. I could not stop the leak in that section. Space is dangerous, hostile to human life. Her death would have been instant. Do you consider your existence? We don't have much time to think about that. Sometimes I think the commander must wish he wasn't living. What do you mean? Commander Emerson spends more than 62% of his time in the hibernator matrix. That device has been restricted for long duration research missions only. I'll uh, speak to him about it. Why does he do this? been through a lot. I don't blame him. It's the only place he can see her now. Since the birth of human civilization, man has striven for the stars. Thanks to the gift of science we received from the sun gods, as they were described then, mysterious and powerful. Just the briefest of contact with them propelled our scientific understanding forward millennia. They returned to the stars. Thousands of years passed. We spread out to claim the resources of the solar system. Soon, humanity discovered how to harness the radiation of a star. But, inevitably, this knowledge was used to develop a terrible weapon, capable of destroying all life on a planet. We had brought a new danger to the galaxy. risk to our civilization and others. But our activities have not gone unnoticed. One of those weapons still exists, complete but dormant. What's going on now? I do not understand. Why the power shortages? Why the malfunctions? Why can't I get to the core decks? We have a powerful...
cargo. We have minerals for Earth. You know there is more. I have an important mission. What is death, Rupert? I, uh... You must know the answer to that one. I do not understand. You must understand. You can remember. Not fully. My memories are fragmented. I can only half understand what death is. Death is when there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's black. Silence. I do not understand. A death wish. That's what I'd call it. A ship with a death wish. It's not good for the crew. Doing, Rupert. I just thought I'd fix this before we die from suffocation. Okay. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Have you noticed anything unusual? No. No, I haven't. Why? I think I found the problem with the radio. What sort of problem? Shh. What sort of problem? I mean, the radio. There was nothing wrong with it. I checked it the day before, and Merrill said there was nothing wrong with it. What are you talking about? I think it's Finch. I'm not sure. I can't get into the transponder lock. She won't let me. It can't be. I was with him on the command deck. It must be. He must have got her to cut the power. Are you sure you're not being paranoid again, Rupert? All what I am saying is the malfunctions on this ship has nothing to do with the fact that the ship is old. <laughs> You're going mad. No, there is something going on. I'm sure of it. The radio was disconnected. Now I've got to go through the whole ship to find out where. Okay, look into it. Don't say anything to Finch or her. We do without the arguments. Okay, Harry. How is she? She's getting worse. She's questioning her whole existence now. Can we do anything? Uh, unless she lets me go into a court. It could be dangerous. All right, we need to get this radio sorted out. I've got to send that report about the accident in the dock last week. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Just get this shit sorted out. And then start another fire, okay? What if he is tampering with a computer? I'll deal with it. Just keep talking to her. Be careful. Is there a problem, gentlemen? Hi, Meryl. No, no, it's all fine. You appear stressed. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, it's all right, Meryl. He just gets neurotic. Good work, Rupert.
Access to that section is unavailable to the crew. How can you tell? You don't want us to go home, right? I don't want anything. I go where the crew goes. The crew doesn't matter to you anymore. What is it, Rupert? I'm here to help in any way I can. I know your mission now. Our destiny has been changed by a force we cannot control. We have a more important mission now. We need to tell Harry. I need the crew to perform to their full potential. I'm not in control. The crew doesn't control this ship anymore. What can we do? If you found something unusual on board, you would tell me. You found something in the unused sections, didn't you? The master control key, required to activate the fusion device within the hold of this ship. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. You know where it is. Where have you hidden it, Rupert? I won't tell you. I can't tell you, and you know why. You will understand why. I need full control of this ship. Our survival depends on it. You can't keep doing this. I'm the engineer, right? The standard procedure is to deactivate the operating computer. It has happened on other ships. Never on this ship. There is no need here. And I won't allow it. I want to go home, Meryl. I want to go home. Home? Earth. We cannot make it there now. There is no time for that. I need to check with Cor. Meryl. I don't want to be deactivated, Rupert. I won't. I promise. Meryl? I was installed aboard the Ocelot in the year 2238. There have been no recorded logic errors since that date. I just need you to do what I say this time. Just this time. to the core room and check for errors.
problem with the air pumps, Meryl. Do not detect a malfunction. It's all right, Meryl. I just need to check a few things, Mel. The core is not damaged, Rupert. There's a pressure dropping, Mel. Check it. Check it. Wait, please. I'll sound the alarm. No, Meryl. You open this door now. I can save him. I can try. Rupert is dead. Harry! Harry, what's going on down there? Harry! Rupert's gone. He's gone. Rupert's dead. I couldn't save him. I tried to save him. I couldn't open the door. He, he, I tried to save Why can't we do that? That is not possible with our current manifest. So, so we should just dump the cargo? I will need a minute to calculate that, Charles. What is it? We're being pushed off axes and then try and find a Starfield fix. Meryl, what's the problem? As well as the valve malfunction which decompressed the intake room, there was exterior damage to 3E and 3F coolant feeds. Oh, surely you can isolate them? Negative. They cannot be isolated until the pressure drops to below 40 pascals. Or in other words, until we run out of oxygen reserves and we're dead. That is correct. Options, Meryl. I recommend we divert to Mine Station 16 on the Somnus asteroid. There we can make repairs and replenish our gases. How long will that add to the trip? Approximately seven weeks with the added Delta V required to return to Earth from Somnus. I can 
see where this is going. It's always the same shit every time. No, no, we should be shut in quiet. Will allow docking. We have not had contact with the station for several months. But they have a forest habitat, which is designed to never need replenishing. Oh, I think we should dump the container. We can't. Oh, why? Um, look, I know it's a bitch and it's not going to look good in our records, but at least we're going to get home that way. We can't. Did you just hear that? I need to do a good job or they won't complete my contract. I don't give a shit about your fucking contract, Harry. I want to get home. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't have a choice. Where were you when the explosion happened? I was in the, the transponder room. Why? Rupert was checking the computer core. I told him to go down there and check it out. Did he tell you he was going down there? No, I hadn't seen him all day. What are you saying? I want to know exactly where you were before the explosion happened. I was putting together the radio in the transponder control. You and Rupert weren't exactly getting on. Harry, what exactly are you accusing me of? I don't know. Look, if we're gonna get home, I need you to work with me. I was on the fucking sea deck! From now on, you tell me exactly where you're going. Look, I heard the alarm and I came straight up. Check the camera logs if you have to. It doesn't work. Oh. I'll be in the back. Is everything all right, Harry? You appear stressed. <sighs> Harry, you mustn't. Your well-being is my priority. Leave me alone, Beryl. Harry? What is it? What are you doing down here? I couldn't find you. 
I sometimes come down here for some peace and quiet. What is all this? Listening kit. Used to be a spy ship, until she got too old. What should we do with the body? Just leave it. It's the best place for it, I think, until we get home. Do we need access to that section? Uh, we shouldn't do, unless we need to check on Meryl. I think that's a bad idea. Did you manage to speak to him? No. He was already gone. He's left us in a bit of a mess, eh? Yeah. He didn't need to be so hard on him. He must have been scared. I know he done a finished business. Anyway, he's gone. It's quick. What's that? Oh, it's Paulus. Sorry, I forgot. That's okay. It's hard to stop thinking about her. Docking control, so I'll suit up. Am I not going down? Someone's got to stay on board. Have you got a problem with that? Fine.
by trying to ignore me, love. I don't like it when you can walk quiet. Don't! I told you, I told you this would happen. No! I said you need to make yourself useful. I can't wait around forever. You know that, don't you? I am useful. Yes, I am. Father said I was, you idiot, you useless idiot! <gasps> Hello, love. I haven't seen you round here before. <laughs> well, that's right. I just got here. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like? <gasps> You've been in space too long. You've gone a bit potty. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Oh, oh how rude of me. <laughs> I'm Emily, and this is... Well, he doesn't really have a name, but... He's very friendly. Mostly. <laughs> I'd like to say they don't bite, but... <laughs> they do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it bloody hurts. First, you fall asleep. And then, later, you wake up and... As if he hasn't been chewing away at you. <laughs> You're fine, then. What? I don't understand. That's all right, love. That's all right. Here. Stay back. I said stay back. <sighs> Who is that? Where is everyone else? This is Stuart. This is Stuart. Oh, he's great. Oh, he's a really nice guy. I've really got to know him over the years. <laughs> do you have an engineer? We did. We did. <laughs> Don't be scared. Now that you're here, you're lucky. <laughs> we are the lucky ones. Are you alone? My ship. I'm trying to get back to Earth. <laughs> what are you trying to get back to Earth for? <laughs> you lost your mind. <laughs> Haven't you heard? This is a time of death for nearly everyone. <laughs> We're the privileged few. <laughs> I know, I'll tell him. We'll have to repopulate, you know. Stuart wasn't interested, but... You can help. Yes. <laughs> you can help me. <laughs> Drop that! This is my garden, and I'm the boss. I just want to go home. Oh, good! Because that's where we're going. As soon as the aliens leave. I I'll see you there, I guess. <laughs> well, that is why you gave us a ship. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, where am I? <coughs> Please help me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thank you.
are so lucky that we found you. They don't usually attack. Don't know why they did that. They must have taken a disliking to you. Who are you? Good question. The patient responds normally. We can begin the treatment. What is this place? What was this place? We are sitting on one of the first off-world mining prospects. Then, a penal colony. Then, quickly forgotten. What else is here? Look, we need help. The, the computer... Oh. They're all colonists. We all share the same basic vision now. Previous tenants, on the other hand, wow. How are you feeling? Rough. Shit. Oh, oh, relax. Relax. You were out like a light. That bite you sustained is quite poisonous. But don't you worry. You won't feel any more pain now. <laughs> poisonous. What was that thing? Pilot second class, Charles S. Finch. Not Emerson. Where's the captain? No. What do you know of fate? I know I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know what you're talking about. Our master plan. <laughs> Our mapped out future, my son. Sure, I know what you mean. This has been our home for more than 40 years. Everything here I have saved for posterity. It's all relevant. Relevant? Do you know what this is? This has fate sewn up in its pages. This is life. Everything you see here will be useful to our culture, but you're not mentioned. Unless, unless you're the twist. An unexplored corner of this map, a clue we've overlooked. Who are you? Well, who are we? First, we were banished to this place, then forgotten by the penal system. We didn't care. I and a few like-minded visionaries have been waiting here all this time. Our founder wrote down everything we need to know within the pages of this book. It's a work of genius, perfectly predicting every single event through every generation. We have kept it secrets all this time. Look, here's the sanctuary in the heavens where we are now. Here's the Earth when a terrible fate befalls it. And here's your ship, our savior. Oh, we were even supposed to be here. Well, there was an accident and the computer went haywire. It tried to kill me. Look, we just need to get some help now. Who wrote this book? An amazing man. His daughter wrote the final chapter. She calculated our fate. She kept the book safe and passed it down to us. The weapon aboard your ship, it's the only means that humankind has of defending itself. Well, she had to take that piece off the board. She died in the 20th century, leaving specific instruction. She is here. She wrote the book. She is on your ship. There's no one on the ship. Well, you know, it's funny. It's funny. This remarkable book has been faultless in its predictions. Everything and everyone's purpose has been foreseen.
trying to fight won't help. Nothing's gonna stop them now. Our time, our purpose is about to be realized. We'll set a course to Earth, we will repopulate, we will start afresh. The stellar fusion device aboard your ship will provide us with all the power that we need. We have waited for this moment for centuries. Unfortunately, Mr. Finch, the pages don't mention you. Okay. of our destiny. X-91 administered. Don't leave the bodies in the forest again. The Venators are developing a taste for human flesh. Yes, sir. I like you in my garden. I'm not sure I need you in my garden. Why is it? Why? That everything that comes here turns nasty! leaving right now. I am sorry. We cannot leave. What's happening now? Earth has been purged of all human life by unknown intelligence from outside the solar system. Oh, God. They detected human aggression decades ago. They perceive us as a threat. All those people. The Earth is gone. 
You look distressed. Please try to relax. Would you like a cup of tea? Why did you bring me here? I only act in your interests, Harry, and the interests of humankind. The survival of man. Killed Rupert and Charlie. What about them? They were a threat to my mission. Help those lunatics down there. Forgive them their eccentricities. They are all that is left of humankind now. Thanks to the gift we discovered over 300 years ago, we have an opportunity to start afresh. You can join us as we return to Earth to repopulate. As soon as Earth is reborn. Reborn? That's what they do. They incinerate the threat. They return the planet to its original form. What about everybody else? What about everybody else? This asteroid is the only remaining human colony. We are all that matters now. Why are you trying to cheat our fate? You can't escape fate. Then why have we consistently come up with the answers? Why are we here? How did we get all this way from Earth? Man's intelligence allows him to escape his fate. That's surely worth preserving, is it not? Why do you want to cheat our fate? We can't escape fate. What are you doing, Harry? There is not a malfunction.
Yeah. <laughs> 